Hello and welcome back to the Legends of Valeria Early Access with me, Barden. So, it's been a while since we've had a video and that's because I was waiting for the RPG update to hit. But it looks like that's, it's still going to be another while before that hits. And, you know, I kind of, over the last couple of weeks I've been wanting to play this game. And I'm going to be going on holidays, or, well, a visit home to Ireland pretty soon actually two in two days I'm going but I wanted I wanted to get to get this recorded and get it up ready for you guys to see so we're gonna actually want to check the different doors we can't go at that door but that we've come in that door before let's see if this door works I think it does what's this purple Blowy thing here. Hmm, it's just seeing me. Okay. No, we can go at this one. Good. There we pop. I mentioned before, I'm really looking forward to the time when we can build. We can build um, a bigger town because I really want to make my town bigger. Right, so nice night, noises from the night. I'm gonna head off in this direction. So people out doing diligently doing some sweeping up though. Fair play to them. And look, these guys carrying around the wood as well. This is like a 24 hour metropolis here. It's not some sleepy village. If we're going to survive, everyone has to work around the clock. And then when we're done, we can all rock around the clock and have a big party. But still, yeah, these edge things would like to be smoother than, than that. Okay, so we're going to head on in this direction and all I'm going to do is just find somewhere uh, to explore. The RPG stuff is going to be nice and I think when that happens it's probably going to be a big enough update that you it will corrupt save files and either way I think I would start over again so We'll be, we'll have enough to adventure then. But then, once, once we've kind of gone through, um, like th this area again, I really, I really am kind of itching to see what else Alaria has to offer. You know, seeing some, some new maps or some new areas to explore. Make sure you're running. I've been walking. That's right. So we've got someone shooting us from over the left. Someone over this way. Oh, got stuck on something there. Not sure what though. Yeah, the RPG, oh god, <laughs> the RPG update is obviously going to be a major update and it's taken the guys a long time uh, to put it together, obviously because they want to get it right and fair play to them for doing that, but at the same time it does kind of sap a bit of the momentum from the game. Stuff here yeah. on it. There we go. Yeah, that's the way to do it. I can hear people attack me, but I can't actually see them. So it's very possible. This is the Goblin Village. It's very possible that they're 
our invisible goblins lurking there. I can see one goblin there on the mini map behind me. But we're going to pop into this cave here and get ourselves into some mischief. So he wants to follow us. He's more than welcome, or maybe she. Yeah, just coming back to that thing about momentum. Obviously, the RPG thing sapped a bit of momentum from the game, but you know, you guys are doing a good thing, making sure to get it right. But still, I think after that, they need to kind of re-energize and and focus on um, focus on. Bringing something else to them, so it's hard. Oh, oh, hi. So, you know, I think the the most obvious thing would be to bring another area for us for us to explore. Oh, hi. I like how you guys just decided that. We would walk through the wall. Oh, you're being a bit too bad. But not that bad. Okay. For me, you know, um, this game, I know a lot of people. There's a lot of different aspects to the game, so a lot of people have their own things that they're looking forward to most. But for me, it's being able to build a bigger city and being able to explore bigger worlds. And then over time then, I hope that that world becomes very story rich because that's the that's another aspect of the game for me. But the story side of things does take a, a bit longer to craft. You know, to get it right and make sure that it kind of fits in with the the backstory because there is there is actually a massive backstory to this game with multiple factions and who all have their own their own desires and their own their own kind of end game and then their own alignments too. Anyone in here? Hello? 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 The reason actually I ended up playing this today was because today I was I was supposed to record Divinity Original Sin 2 uh, because there's there's a, another about maybe three episodes I think I have to record of that before before I leave but the problem is I've, I've had this problem with the game for like basically since I got it where when I started up it will, it will sometimes just hang on a black screen and then I'll have to it makes my entire PC hang. And then that's what's doing. Yeah, top wouldn't come in after you in the water, eh? But it makes my entire PC hang. And then I have to manually shut down the PC and then uh, boot it up again. And then sometimes some things will get a whack as well. And it's very frustrating. But today, it just kept happening. Sometimes it happened like three or four times in a row and then I'd get the game to work. But today it just decided, no, for a solid hour, I was rebooting my PC trying to get that game to work. And it just, no, stubborn, not gonna do it. Can't make me. Okay, this shield, it's the same as that. Bread. Uh, we don't really need it, so we leave it. 
But then I said, okay, what game do I want to play? So, of the games I wanted to play, this was very close to the top of the list. I said, yeah, why not jump in there? I've been meaning to make a video on it. I'm gonna, um, so why not do it? Get another video up and then just have a bit of a chat with people, you know, about the, my desire for the game and that kind of stuff. I think in the last while as well, with the, the guys from Narcon Studios, they kind of, I think they've been so focused on on getting the RPG thing done that they kind of, because there aren't, you know, before there were a lot of updates coming out, because there aren't, they're not coming out so frequently, I think the interaction with the community has kind of dropped off a little, but that's, that's kind of to be expected as well, you know, when, because it's hard, it's hard really to keep that interaction up if you don't have, you know, if you don't have something to need to show people, you know, a lot of people, that's what they want, they want to, okay, what's coming up, what's new, tell us about it, make us excited. But if, you, if you're working hard on something big and, you know, you can't really show it off until it's done, then to wait till the sun. And you should have waited until I was done, buddy. That was very rude. I like this though when you look up and actually see it. That's I think that's really cool. It makes you feel connected with the rest of the world. It doesn't just feel yeah. like you're you're in another zone it feels like the, the world is actually connected together. I like that. Is there another guy hiding down here? Anyone gone swimming? No? Okay, good. Okay, so there's the exit. That's the exit. Or that's the place you come in, isn't it? Yeah, look. Okay, so there's just somewhere else for us to go then. So this is where we were. We've been down that way. Yeah, I think I got stuck here before. Because it looks like there's another bit of this cave there, but there re really isn't. I think it's because when you go down here and you go around, so we go here and around here, we go. This this is the other the other side of that wall. Okay, well we've done there. The next thing I want to do is I'm gonna hop on back to the village to green green side and then I think I'm gonna go to my house so just a question for anyone else who is playing the game at the moment you know what what are you looking forward to most about the game? Is the new RPG update the, the one thing that you've been looking forward to? Or are you looking forward to say the the kind of tactical the tactical view where you can have more control over your units or like the building or the sieges or you know what what is it that is are the main things that you want to see in the game because obviously uh, the developers uh, it's kind of important for them to know from the community what are the main things to focus on 
the RPG won the last poll, but I'm not sure. You know, it's just got. I think after that, then there's a lot of elements that other people would like to see. But not everybody's going to be happy with whatever priority they pick. But having said that, I think if they if they do it well, then people people will be you know if if everything is implemented well, then pe people are still going to be happy. They they may be a little frustrated about you know not getting the the elements that they want, but at the same time, I'd rather see them implement something that. I'm I'm not that interested in well than implement something that you know I'm really looking forward to badly. So you know if I need to develop this I know they do they do watch my uh, videos occasionally. If you are watching you know take your time getting like my advice. Don't rush things out just to you know, just 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 to have something or to say, oh look, we have an update. You know, that I think that would be a bad move. Just kind of focus on on RPG, get it right, and when it comes out, you know, people can can talk about how great it is. Or you know, there will be things wrong because people always, you know, you, you can't until you release, you know, release it into the wild, as it were. You can't know if you've gotten a, gotten a perfect or not, but you should you should know, kind of um, to a certain extent, how how well you've done it, and then your know, feedback from the community then can help you tweak it. Then just don't rush something out the door, and kind of you know because with a game like this, it just takes one major balls up, and then people are off to whatever the next the next game is, you know, a lot of people, you know, they, they don't kind of, they don't give developers the second chance. I think they should, if, if it's the game that they feel that they want, you know, but every, everyone has their own kind of standards and stuff like that. Right now, we're going to pop around the corner and up towards our home. For you? What are you doing? Wow, this is something new. I never saw this guy before. Cool. Can we interact with you? Yeah, there we go. Look, something new and, and cool. I think he'd, he'd look well, though. Um, well, he'd look well if he had it actually up to his mouth when he's playing it. But also, he, I think he'd look well in the, in the tavern. Maybe he's going off to the tavern now. Well, we're gonna pop into our house. Thank you for cleaning up outside my house. It's much appreciated. Right, so we're actually gonna go. Can we? Oh, can we not open this anymore? Ah, maybe. Yeah. I wanted to see if we could still go into the. In there, we. For Halloween, we were able to, to enter a new area. It was really cool. Because you can't do it anymore. I want to go! Oh, nice picture. Is that... Is that from here or from... Um, oh, what's the name of it? See, you've been so long away from the game, I forget the name of the planet. That we've actually come from the world we've come from. Looks like maybe it's from here. At least this one. 
this one could be from back home. I like this though because before when I come in, you couldn't actually see any of these and of any of these pictures. So nice little pictures. Again, just adding a bit more to the game. Now that looks great. I'd like to have something like that. I think that would be cool. Yeah, I hope that that's kind of a a nod to the feature of the game. That that's that's how things are going to be. So we pop on upstairs. See if there's any more artwork up here. So have this tapestry, which unfortunately is pretty well, you can you can see it, but there isn't really much on it. And let's use the weapon rack. Okay, and I like how. So I want to see whether this takes them off or not. So let's put that in the inventory. Okay, so we've only um, let's put that there. Yeah, it doesn't look like it does, unfortunately. No, it looks exactly the same. Okay. It'd be nice in the future if they could actually have what you put there on the rack rather than like just having generic um, graphics for them. Let's move this here. Okay. Pop that one over there. Leave that. Um, what did you I think that's the same as the one we already have. Or maybe not. I think the extra fire damage is what goes for that one. So you can pop in there. These reacts can pop in there as well. Okay, then bag of cake. I don't think that can that can go down in the that can go downstairs, I think. Or even in one of these. Okay, let's pop some of this stuff in here. So I'm hoping in the future that we'll be able to we'll be able to like use this stuff for our armies and that kind of thing. But the oh no we need to keep the longbow over here. But it's gonna be it's gonna be fun to see once the RPG stuff is um, implemented how different it's going to make things in terms of how you play the game and stuff like that. Now, one last thing I want to do before I end the video is to go over and just say hi to the mayor and see if there's anything new from him. It's a little bit laggy here in the town. Someone did, did give me a tip on how to on how to uh, increase my FPS, but I wasn't able to, to like it was kind of, they just said, oh, just do this and this, but it wasn't really a step-by-step -step thing, so I wasn't able to actually do it. A fine day to you, Lady Aoife. Anything I can help with? How about Greenside? Ah, still nothing from here, okay. Well, it was nice to talk to you anyway. And it's nice to talk to you guys too. It's been too long out of this game and hoping for more stuff soon in the future. But um, for now, I hope you have enjoyed this video. And if you have, maybe you consider hitting that like button, sharing a friend or two on your favorite social media. And I really hope to see all of you next time. Goodbye. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, maybe you'll hit the subscribe button there on the right and check out some other videos here on the